first of all, uh, there's a, you have to know what the definition of introversion and extroversion are, right? Socially awkward is not, I know socially awkward extroverts, right? It's not if you're uncomfortable, it's not social awkwardness, that's not introversion. I, I like, in terms of, it's Sa Susan Cain's definition, it, it's, it's about energy, which is um, an introvert loses energy from social interaction, an extrovert gains energy from social interaction. So an introvert wakes up in the morning with five coins, every social interaction, they spend a coin at the end, they are depleted. An extrovert wakes up with no coins, every social interaction, they get a coin, and by the end, they feel rich. Like going to a party, they gives them energy, Go versus going to a party sucks your energy. So right? then I'm an introvert. <laughs> right. So I'm, I'm a big introvert, <laughs> right? Yeah. And um, what I have learned is it's, I have a big personality, but I'm still an introvert. So what I've learned is that it doesn't matter which one you are, the question is, is how do you leverage what you got, right? And so I go to parties with an extrovert, right? Because that way they can do all the talking and I can just stand there and just eat the cheese. And, and that is fantastic. By the way, you can always spot me. You can always tell. You, you go to a party with me and you will see me standing in corners or, or, or lingering by the... And when there's a barbecue, I'm always the chef because then I don't have to talk to anybody. Right? But, but if you notice... I've learned to leverage what I have. So it makes me a much better public speaker to be an introvert because I don't like holding court. It freaks me out. But I like talking to individuals. So you'll notice when I speak, I talk to you, and then I talk to you, and then I talk to you, and I give everybody a whole idea or a whole thought, which actually what I learned helps me actually connect with an audience much better. But it's because I'm an, ext an introvert. So if you're an introvert, of course you can be a leader. It has nothing to do. Some of the best leaders, have you ever heard of Jim Senegal? Most people haven't, because he's awkward and shy. He's a phenomenal leader. He's the founder and former CEO of Costco, right? Like there's phenomenal leaders. Richard Branson, introvert. He's really awkward, right? Um, uh, like these are phenomenal, phenomenal leaders who are all introverts. Right? But the one thing they all have, have in common, whether you're extroverted or introverted, is undying belief in your cause. Right? It's the, and the charisma is not how much energy you have. The charisma is how much you're willing to devote to that. And if it's all of it, you have charisma. You have leadership capacity.